It is day three of our Alaskan cruise on the Discovery Princess. We are here in Ketchikan. Yes, it is a little rainy, but we have the Ketchikan duck tour planned for today. It's a land and water tour, and we're gonna go explore the city. We're super excited for today in Ketchikan. Let's go check it out. Well, it's a little wet here in Ketchikan today. The pools are empty, the hot tubs are empty. I do see a few ships docked in here today. I see the New Amsterdam off there in the distance, the Holland America New Amsterdam. There's the Carnival Spirit and the Ruby Princess is sailing in there as well. You can see there's buses down there. People are already getting off the ship and heading to their excursions. The great thing is that we are docked right here in Ketchikan, so it makes it so easy to get off the ship and to explore the city or to find your excursion. It's a great place and lots of information like the Ketchikan sign here shows you everything. Yeah, there's booths here if you do wanna book excursions when you get to the port. There's people holding signs if you've already got an excursion booked. But we're looking for our duck tour here in Ketchikan. I see the duck for the Ketchikan duck tour right off the ship. We'll put a link below in the description if you do want to book with them. It's super easy to find and convenient right here. Now is this a boat or a bus? Alaska Amphibious Tours. Ketchikan Duck Tour. Super cool. Now we're gonna climb up a ladder to get into this amphibious tour. We're taking the first tour of the morning and we're early so we get the pick of our seats. Oh, we made it on. on. You're on a cruise. This is your first stop in Alaska or your last? First. First, first, first stop. Congratulations. We can tell you anything. You won't know the difference. <laughs> you know what? You know how many bears we have on this island? Black bears? They say over 1,500. We're still waiting on the guy that was sent out to count him to come back. We're pretty sure about that number, give or take. And we are off. We'll start with the downtown area before we head into the water. Now we got two princesses. Don't get on the wrong one. You have Discovery and we have Royal Ruby. The Ketchikan Tunnel. It can be driven through, around, or over. Red wings of an eagle looking down. That statue used to be facing a different direction, but some kids from Juno came and vandalized it. Stupid Juno. So we had to take it down, we had to repolish it, resand it, repaint it, and we put it back up, but this time with its butt facing Juno. We literally flipped Juno the bird. Ketchikan, welcome to Alaska's first city. This is a great way to explore downtown so you kind of get your bearings when you get here to Ketchikan. There's also a ton of shopping in this city. Got a spruce mill on the street. We have Ellie at the Quack Shack. What's going on, Ellie? Really? Yo, if you go to her afterwards and quack at her, she'll give you a free postcard. She's the only legal quack dealer in town as well. <laughs> Sam, Coming up on your right, we have the coolest thing you're going to see in Ketchikan today. It is our fire station, a government building that was completed on time and under budget. We have the salmon ladder. Do not bring the falls to the other side and start spawning. See it right there? Married Man's Trail. It's a dead end. <laughs> We have East 2nd Street right there. That is one of our many stair streets in Ketchikan. And now that we've dropped all the ladies off but down there with that one patch, eye patch guy, all the guys can stop here at Creek Street. Got Miss Dolly's house in there. Miss Dolly bought that house in 1919 for the large sum of $800. She charged Look guys at your ship. Captain Marley pulling up their anchor. McDonald's, and we got a mall. A very sorry excuse for a mall. There's not even a Dillard's in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, we're becoming a boat. A 
What do you think about that? You ready? Has anyone ever done duck boats before? No. No one? All right. Hopefully it works. Let's try it. Neither have we. All right, everyone put your hands in the air. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Are we going to make it, Captain? Oh, so, so. Okay. Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Just, hi. Oh, hi. Help me. I'm... The captain's holding me against my will. I've been doing this over two months. He's making me go to the bilge tomorrow. I can't do it much longer. I just, I just might jump off. I just can't. Would you take a look at that? We have one eagle. Ah, ah, ah. Two eagles. Ah, ah, ah. These are all bald eagles. Let's count them. One, one two, two, three, three four, five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight Nine. Nine. Ten. <laughs> That's a lot of eagles. Awesome marina here in Ketchikan. Over there is the airport on the other side and another duck boat. Mm -hmm. A shipwreck. Fishing boats. Float planes. The famous E.C. Phillips and Sons. There's the Discovery Princess and the Carnival Spirit. John and Captain R have done a fantastic job providing an entertaining and an educational tour on the city of Ketchikan. So that was a ton of fun on the Ketchikan duck tour. Awesome, highly recommended if you're coming here to Ketchikan. And uh, yeah, you got to see the whole city from there. We're gonna head into town and see what else we can come up with to do. Water Street coffee across from the ship. There's a lot of shopping here in Ketchikan, the Tongas Trading Outlet Store. If you forgot your raincoat, you can grab one for $19.99. Great deals here. They say Alaska. Come say hi to Mr. Bear. Grab some cute little socks, some pajamas, bear cheeks. Hoodies are a great price, $24.99 for Alaska hoodies. Crew neck sweatshirts, $16.99. You can get Christmas ornaments, totem poles. And of course, smoked salmon right here at the port. And there's the Ruby Princess. We're gonna take this beautiful boardwalk into town to do some shopping. There's a Ketchikan visitor information with information and restrooms, as well as a trolley tour and another amphibious bus tour. The Tongass Trading Company is here. They have taxidermy bears inside. Yeah, really cool to check out. Now, if you're wondering how much it rains here in Ketchikan, they have a meter that will show you how much rain they actually get. In 1949, it was 202.55 inches. That's a lot. John for the shout out. We really appreciate it. Ketchikan, the salmon capital of the world. You can find salmon everywhere. Salmon, etc. Salmon market. Salmon, salmon, salmon. Salmon everywhere. Now, if you want to support the local fire department, they have a t-shirt vending machine inside. Come grab your t-shirts that have the Ketchikan fire department on them. Now, if you're looking for totem poles, there's the whale park outside. Very interesting. This one is the Chief Cayenne totem pole. The Federal Building here in Ketchikan. Another totem pole. This one's really tall. The Chief Johnson totem pole. This one's located right near the back entrance to Creek Street. We're headed 
to the Creek Street main entrance, which is located right here by this red steel bridge. Here you'll find the Creek Street sign that goes over the pathway. Yeah, grab a selfie there. It's right next to the infamous Dolly's house here on Creek Street. There's lots of shopping as you walk through these cute little stores all the way down the path. Very colorful buildings here. Lots of souvenirs, opal. I love the carvings. Check out these bears. Super Moose, Alaska. And a look back down Creek Street from the other direction. Ketchikan is surrounded by the Tongass Forest and it is vibrantly green here. It's so lush. It's beautiful. A fish statue there. And we're going to continue down the trail here. This is Married Man's Trail. Am I allowed? I don't know. <laughs> the Salmon Ladder. And so many stops here, the Ketchikan Creek. Now I hear this gets really full with salmon during spawning season. Nothing really here today. This is the beautiful city park, a great place to sit by the fountain or to bring some lunch up here and enjoy it at the picnic tables. Walking distance from downtown, so a great place to stop. Another great place to check out is the marina. Lots of old boats, fishing boats down here, and a wooden boardwalk to check out. Really authentic kind of fishing area down here with lots of repair shops and different things. Not too far from Creek Street. And this is actually called the Stedman Thomas District. Hiking the hill to find the lookout of the ship. It should be up here somewhere. Some of the back streets to get there and we have made it. There's the ships there. This is at the corner of Cedar and Front Streets. The Knob Hill lookout here just above the ships. Not too far of a walk. A little bit steep but a uh, great place to get good pictures of your ship. Now we are basically located on top of the tunnel right now. Not exactly, but definitely in that area. Yeah, it's pretty close to the tunnel. Now the shortcut to get here, it's a little bit steeper, but there are stairs kind of hidden here and it is pretty steep though. I would not want to take a stumble down these, so be cautious. Yeah, they do have some grip on them, but just be careful if you're heading down here and this will take you right down to the entrance to the tunnel at Front Street. It's 1.30 in the afternoon, all aboard is 2.30. Yeah. So we're gonna head back onto the ship and grab some lunch. Bye-bye, catch a can. It was fun. How was your coffee? It's good. Yeah. Coffee. Dessert. Dessert. Little internet. Little internet. There's the new Amsterdam setting sail here in Ketchikan and we are next, I believe. There we go. Bye bye Ketchikan. Oh, too funny. Look, just as we're leaving, the rain is coming back. Yeah, it stopped raining as soon as we got to Ketchikan and it started as soon as we left. So when we got back on the ship after being in Ketchikan, we went and changed our dinner reservations. We had lunch at two o'clock and there's no way we could sit down and eat our five o'clock dinner. No, 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 that's for sure. Especially because we might have snuck some dessert in there as well. So A little bit. So, so we're switching it up. We're going to go to the show first tonight. Mm -hmm. It starts at 7.30. And then we actually have an 820 reservation. So it will be tight. Uh, it gives us five minutes to get from the show to dinner, but I'm sure we can do it. It'll be good. It'll all work out wonderful. We are back from our show and dinner. What an amazing night we had. Um, the show was Tom, was it Frenak? Frenak, yes. Frenak. He played the piano, he danced, he sang. 
He played the piano upside down. On his head. So I'm gonna recommend, if you have not heard of him, like we had never heard of him. No. I would say look him up on YouTube. It's Tom Franek, it's F-R-A-N-E-K. Yeah. It was fabulous. Yeah, really good. And even incorporated the audience. He was gonna pretend to climb in the piano. He was playing upside down on his head. It was really good and his singing was really good as well. It was fun and yeah. dancing, everything. Yeah, yeah. No, and he, if he's on your ship when you come on here, make sure to check him out. It was awesome. For sure. Yeah. And then dinner, we went for dinner quite late. It was almost 8.30 by the time we got there. It was. And then our waiter was amazing. Yes. And he kept bringing us food. And suggesting like, he's like, you want ice cream, right? You want yeah. ice cream. He's like, do you want to share this? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to share that? <laughs> and he gave us recommendations yeah. uh, that made the meal like that yeah. extra bit. So do you want to start with what we had? Sure. I actually took a picture of the menu here. So uh, Ken and I both had the warm crab and artichoke dip baguette chips. Mm -hmm. It was very nice, very creamy. Um, it was like two smaller pieces of bread that you could dip. I found yeah. there was a lot more dip than there was bread, so I just used the buns off the table. Yeah, because there was buns on the table. And the buns on the table are marvelous. We haven't really talked about that. No, but they're always buns. Fresh, yeah. tasty, really, really good. And then you also had... There was a Caesar salad, which was really good. Yes. And then for the main, we both had, was it the prime rib? Prime rib. Big piece Excellent. of meat, the potato, potato cheese, with cheese, sour, sour cream. cream, awesome. <laughs> and then this is our mistake. Yeah, not it was good. It, it was, was good. good. It just we may have been much. talked into sharing a lasagna as well. Not like a whole lasagna, a plate of lasagna. <laughs> it wasn't huge, but it was. That well, was probably yeah. That put us over the edge, but it was really good. Yeah. And then dessert. I had the cheesecake, strawberry and cheesecake. And you had ice cream with it. Too. Well, that's he talked us into the ice cream. Well, I wasn't gonna order ice cream, but then you got he asked you if you wanted ice cream. Of course. What did you have? Okay, so mine is called, and this is available every single night. It's one of the princess favorites. It's the Princess Love Boat Dream. The Love Boat. And he was right. Ice cream with it was really good because it's kind of like cleanses your palate so you can really enjoy all the flavors. Yeah. So, and then somehow he talked me into the ice cream because of that, so I don't know. But they gotta hear what's on this okay, though. Talk it's about amazing. It, talk Wait, about it. Yeah, it's chocolate mousse, mm -hmm. raspberry cream brulee on a brownie. It's good. Was it good? It was really good, yeah. yeah. My cheesecake was really good too. Mine was better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have some good news. We get to sleep in. Yeah, we thought we had to be up. For 5 a.m. So in the morning, we're sailing up the Endicott Arm. It doesn't sound like we're gonna make it all the way to the glacier, so we're sailing up and sailing back. There'll be little icebergies, I'm sure, in there. And uh, yeah, so we're doing that in the morning. We thought we had to get up at five. We thought we had to be up on deck for five. Yeah, so not we don't have to be up that early because we're gonna reach the furthest end around seven-ish. 6.37. So we'll be up so, there for 6.30. And then we're gonna be sailing back out. So um, we'll be checking that out in the morning. Then we're headed to Juno. Tomorrow is Juno day. Uh -huh. um, we'll see what we get up to there. We're, fingers crossed we're gonna head to the glacier there as well. I think it's called the- Mendenhall Glacier. Mendenhall Glacier. That's what our plan is, but we'll see. Things could change tomorrow depending on the weather as well. So that's our plan for tomorrow. Hope you're enjoying our vlog so far. We had an amazing day in Ketchikan today. The duck boat, check that out if you haven't. If you're headed to Ketchikan, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're excited about tomorrow. So make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification so you're notified of upcoming videos. And we will see you again in the morning. Good night.